हम आपके हैं कौन वो श्योरली अ वॉटर शेड इन आर सिनेमा सूरज बुझारते हेर पेरेंट टू द थ्रोन ऑफ राजश्री सिनेमा defined cinema in a certain context moved from the small cinema that rajeshri productions were making remember their first film was not a small film aarti meena kumari pradeep kumar ashok kumar big film roshan's music But over a period of time, they created a completely different business model, the morning show cinema, and they made film after film after film, like Dulhan Bahi Jo Pia Man Bhai. They made Dosti. They made uh, Raksha Bandhan, Geet Gata Chal. Oh, you name them. Then came Maine Pyar Ki. Two newcomers of sorts. After it became a hit, Prem came back. in hum aapke hain kaun by which time both madhuri and salman were stars suraj bajatia realized that there was a niche area even in the time when there was angst hatred violence and no place for permanent music he created cult songs didi tera devar diwana just an example if हम आपके हैं कौन वॉज अ वॉटर शेड फिल्म ऊंचाई इज अ कमिंग ऑफ एज फिल्म फॉर सूरज मूव अवे फ्रॉम द फैमिली इज पर ऑल्सो गॉन ऑन टू हैव अ क्रिटिकल लुक एट द फैमिली इंस्टीट्यूशन इन सेल्फ रिलेशनशिप्स आर नॉट एज शुगर इन स्पाइस are not as sugar and syrupy as they are in his other films it's not the viva it's not the prem ratan dan payo loving relationships these are honest relationships these are out of mills and boon relationships but on chai is not so much about relationships see that as it is about french this is rajeshri films true return to dosti meri dosti mera pyar This is the Chahunga Mai Tujhe Sant Saveri film. This is the film where Barjatia makes bold to say that there is something undefinable in a man 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 group friendship relationship. It's something that defines outside of romance, outside of family relationship. He doesn't leave it there. He challenges sixty generations and tells them that age is a number, age is a habit of thought, age is a practice. You can defy each one of these modules and trek your way to the base camp at Mount Everest to the story. Four friends, Omi, Om Sharma, Anupam Kher, Brahm. Then you have the tailor, Jave, played by Bhuma Nirali. What a performance! A man who's who has an eye for women and girls, runs a lady garment shop, often. to the scrutiny and disapproval of his wife Shabu Meena Gupta the third friend is a successful author Amit Srivastava who is launching his book after book after book played by Amitabh Bachchan and who's told by his very very good friend Bupen who may have a small role but a central to the film Bupen that's Tammy Dinsomper Bupen tells Amit Your book sounds like a salesman's sales pitch, and not like a storyteller's narrative. To tell narratives, there is enough time today. Let me make the money. Is Amit Shrivastava's response? 
Om, Javed, and Amit. All join up for a birthday party at Bupin's place. Katie Ko, Katie Ko is sung. And then you have Olad Ki Bahari. And after that, tragedy strikes. Bupin passes away. The three friends are shocked that death can be so close to celebration in happiness. Bupen in his lifetime had a passion that the four of them go to the base camp in Nepal, which they can't. Death snatches Bupen, but he has four tickets. So Amit takes upon himself to convince the other two and they go to the track. They go to the track and from here the film takes off. Amazing brahmaradere between the three friends. How neat Nagupta is a part of the road trip from Kanpur to Gorakhpur to Nepal. They are joined by Mala played by Sari. What's her connect with these three guys? Why is she a part of the trek headed by Shraddha Gupta, the tourist guy played by Padi Neeti Chopra? Is what the film is about. 160 minutes. A tattoo. But then, today, even the West has started making long films. So, no surprise. And this is an old to the human spirit. In an age when procrastination can be fatal, here is a great film with Amitabh Bachchan coming of age again and telling us, give him a good script, give him a good director, he's not going to have his way through. The film has some great moments. Let me just tell you a few. The scene when Bhoman Irani and Nina Gupta realize that they have barged into their own daughter's house. The scene where Sarika relates her story. The scene where Pariniti talks about her birthday party. The scene where a corpse is going before these people take off on one of the many days on the train. There is a scene where Amitabh Bachchan is a part of a football game and then moves away to take his medication. The whole bridge scene, which lasts for about 8 to 10 minutes, is a greater survival film in itself than the entire Millie film is. Ye jeevan hai, is jeevan ka yehi hai, yehi hai, yehi hai. This great Kishore Kumar song from yet another Rajeshri film, Piya Kakar, somewhere becomes the bonding factor between Bhupen in the past and the narrative actors, protagonists who often lose touch with their goal, their ambition. There's a wonderful scene where Nina Gupta feels cheated and bends around when her friends try to, when Amit and Om try to enter and she tells them, Aap log dost hai, apne had tak apna hak ko rakhi. Brilliant. Film is of true all about moments. And Unchai has such high voltage moments throughout the Every performance of the film is studied, perfect, to the point. Baba Nirani stands out for his subtlety, for his sarcasm, for his understanding scenarios. Anupam Kher may be partly a victim to his own mannerisms, partly to predictability, partly even to the role by which Suraj Bajatya perceives him. But I think in compare he falls short. Nina Gupta, spot on, Sarika Hassan, spot on, and in the midst of such veteran actors, Parimiti Chopra, spot on. 
And when you know Amitabh Bachchan has a good film, you know how he can steal a scene. Kill him one or two scenes in a film and he's stolen it. Bhagwan is an example. Even in a sad, soppy film like that, the Sony Locky of his lifts the film. Watch his Instagram swan song in this movie. Watch his transformation after day four on the trek. And you will know what? How even physically an actor can move from a scenario to another in a film. That is Amitabh Bachchan. Yes, over dramatic sometimes, but not contrived. The drama is melodramatic, but perfectly in sync with what the script requires. Could he better the final look? Maybe, but then perfections make for poor art. The Nina Gupta Bomanirani epilogue is worth the watch. Sarika Hassan brings character to the at the end of it all, there are some amazing technical aspects of the film, like its smooth storytelling, like its brilliant cinematography. If anything, it's the background score that jars, trying to eat into the scenic, scenic camera work that uh, the cinematographer gives. Moonchai is about human spirit. Woon Chai is about a clean film. Woon Chai is about a good film where you can sit and enjoy the human values of our times and of olds. And a reminder of ye jeevan hai, is jeevan ka yehi hai, yehi hai, yehi hai, yehi hai. Unhesitatingly recommended to all followers of my YouTube. I acknowledge my thanks to Datu shooting this in spite of all that he has to do. I acknowledge wins to Abhinav, who is a week away from his wedding, but would still find time to edit this and put it across to all my viewers. Thank you very much. Hope you will enjoy this movie. But I push the envelope and tell all of you, do not miss this Suraj Bharjadya movie starring Amitabh Bachchan and Bhagavanirani. Um Chai is a new high in the Rajeshri context. In the context of our mainstream cinema, give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you.